Welcome back, guys. I'm Mike. And I'm Stephanie. And we're Van Life Sheldon's Travels. Sheldon's in the van in his tank, guys. Today, we are right outside of Alachua County. Right here, still in Florida. We spent the night right here at a park and ride. Boy, is it getting hot, guys. So, it's in the in the high 90s today and i tell you what guys i'm about ready to get out of florida it's too hot we spent two summers going to college living in this van and this in florida and i don't want to do it again so uh we're we've we're just kind of here and we're gonna head down to tampa go even even hotter guys but we've we really got want to clean out our storage unit before we leave out of florida that's why we're going back to Tampa. Yeah, it just makes sense, guys. Save the $50 a month. You know, YouTube is only paying about $100 a month. So, if that was the case, I couldn't even pay for cell, uh, Stephanie's cell phone and our storage on what we make on YouTube. So, we got to cut some corners. And so, that's one of the things while we're here in Florida, we were going to keep our storage unit but we've decided we just need to get rid of it and just save that $52 a month, guys, because things are getting tight for everybody, and uh, we just don't need the extra bill, and we don't need to be halfway across the country, and our stuff just sitting here and uh, costing us money. So today we're going to start heading down to Tampa. I don't know how much I'm going to film or what we're going to get into, but whatever it is, uh, we'll bring you with us. So. Uh, Let's get the day going, guys. Take the ramp to I-75 South. Continue for three quarters of a mile. Well, guys, we were coming down 75 here. This accident must have just happened because even that little marker truck and the police were still, they kind of just came past us. But you never know what you're going to see on the road. It looks like this truck flew off the highway. Better get over. Yep, they're still talking to the one driver. Everybody's okay. There's the Panyons Prairie Preserve State Park, so it's right in the middle of it. Wow. to stop right here at a Burger King. We saw people inside, people sitting down and eating, and we haven't got to come in and sit down and eat at a restaurant in a couple of months since like Burger uh, Dairy Queen, but we actually sat outside. So we decided let's stop here. We did our little $5 app thing where we get two, uh, two junior burgers and fries and drinks for five bucks. So yeah, and this one you can actually get refills on your sodas. So oh, that's good. Yeah, this one's getting back to normal. A little bit back to normal. All right, guys, we'll have some lunch. Where they're limiting the uh, capacity to 25% still. That works. 
And we're gonna go this way because it's exit one way in it. destination well guys we decided to maybe find a little campground for the night a little place called the Sotoma Youth Ranch so we thought we'd check it out looks like they have sites if they're even open. It might be closed. Almost sounds like it wants to rain, guys. But uh, let's check it out here. Well, she was nice enough to let us, uh, as long as we don't plug in, she said we can kind of park anywhere we want. So I think we'll just kind of ride around the park here for a second. And put my seatbelt on so it don't ding for you guys. Normally that's not the case. They'll be, you know, usually they're full, but tonight they look like they got plenty of spots. It appears to be at this time it's $15 a night for primitive, $30 for full electric and water. So she said down here is by the lake. what used to be a lake well guys we got in here right before the storm starting to pour we got it switched around all right here we go well guys the rain stopped we got all set up here went and took us a little shower and now I thought we'd just walk around before we make some dinner, show you a little bit more of the place. A little stream going through. looks like they have plenty of event areas they have lots of events and festivals here yeah, music even festivals have a concession stand a cafe. More, another bathhouse over here so there's um, two bathrooms but the shower house is over there so that's kind of nice that yeah. they have two bathroom buildings and they do have primitive camping up in the woods without electricity and water but they have plenty of sites with electricity and water trash cans and like Steph said bathrooms a cafe snack bar all that stuff so and it looks like right over here they were saying this used to be a lake and uh, back in the day it used to be a filled lake and there's a little boat ramp over here let's see if we can find the boat ramp got the wood area over there 
pretty easy to fence in that area a little bit more since it was used for the basketball court it looks like before no gasoline outboard motors on the lake life preservers must be used don't feed the alligator snakes and here this used to be the boat ramp but I don't think you would be putting a boat in there now guys but that's what the sign says right there get over here I don't think you can read it yeah now you can read it but uh it's like at one time they even have a light pole here and a little bench and a little retaining wall to keep the water I think those are lily pads yeah, big old ferns at least. And it goes back there quite a bit, guys. This was a big lake at one time. Now that's cute. Somebody took a chainsaw and a little time. Fixed this stump up, didn't they? That's real nice. That's pretty cool, guys. Looks like they're still working on it. Yeah, look, two bears hugging each other playing the banjo yeah and right there's a hammer so uh, no it's part of the wood ah. i thought they were working on it huh this one's hard too i found another one oh, that's cool they must be all headed out through the campground that's right cool. That works. Check that. Well, like I said, they do have primitive and regular camping. Here's the primitive camping. No RVs or trailers. I don't think you make it, but let's see what they got going on back here. Oh, so you do get a picnic table. Oh, I was wrong earlier. You do get a picnic table, fire ring, and a trash can. Oh, look at that. Well, this is pretty nice. Very secluded sites. Yeah, this is very nice. It's a give and take, guys. If you come back up in these parts, you stay at campgrounds that have a lot of foliage. It's nice and cool at night, but during the day, but you don't get any solar. Well, it's hard to get solar under the trees. But there's plenty of places back here. You could just be by yourself or a little group. I enjoy this kind of camping, but I also just wanted to be over there by the creek too, so that's kind of nice. Okay. Kind of circles back through here. But even though you're underneath the trees, you still can't get rid of that humidity. And that's what makes it warm, guys. I know a lot of you are on the west coast over there. You're like, it's 105. Well, it's 105, but no humidity. Add that humidity and whew. 105 is still bad. It's still bad. Still hot. Still super hot. It's getting about 95 here during the day. Pretty warm. All right, right here's the little bath and shower house. They have six regular showers and one uh, handicap, so seven total. And they also have seven bathrooms on the other side. So you get bathrooms and showers dump station this is the small showers right here which works kind of tight 
but the bigger here, this shower here, is fairly large. I mean, there we go. The light to turn on. It's a fairly large shower, guys, so that's pretty nice. Walk around here. Trash cans. And a couple of bathrooms. As you can tell, pretty clean. That works. Just a nice quiet little spot for the night. Well, guys, Steph made a little dinner here. Looks delish. What you got in there, babe? It is sausage and zucchini with onion and squash mm. and some fire roasted tomatoes. Nice. So we'll get a big plate of that, guys. And the sun's starting to go down here in the camp. Yeah. It'll be a nice dinner. A nice, nice dinner.